Hey guys, Jen here from Craft Penguin Planner. Welcome to my channel. Today we are here for what I'm sure is much awaited, my 2022 planner lineup. So, as you can see, there's three. We are downsizing from this year. Imagine that. All right, so let's start with this one, okay? So, it's no secret that I love my Panici. Um, it is one that I nudged Destiny to create because I loved the hobo style, but really preferred the discs and the paper. So, we're starting off with the Panici, and I use this for <clears throat> my health and wellness planner so I got be stronger than your excuses put on the cover because it's something I definitely really want to focus hard on some more this year so this is the Panici planner and I love the little addition of these sections here I still have to figure out how I'm going to use this but um I will and I maybe I'll use this as like a wheat um tracking type or maybe body measurements and weight and things like that since I'm using this for that <clears throat> for my health journey so then we have this at the beginning of your month again something else I need to try to figure out how I'm going to use the monthlies I'm really bad about using I really don't know how to use this for health and wellness um other than just you know decorate it and call it a day um if you got any ideas, let me know, because I'm open to them. We're just, you know, seeing how things go. But this is the main layout. It's what I've been using for um, as long as this planner has been released. And we'll continue to do so because this is my piece when it comes to um, my health journey. So that's what this one is. That is the first of the three planners that I will be using for 2022. Next up, yeah, we're going to save the B6 for last. Next up is my Penny Pages A5 Wide. Um, much like I've used it this year, this is going to be, again, just kind of like an everyday and like memory keeping planner. I, I just need to learn to call it what it is, and it's a memory keeping planner. So, um, again, love the little addition of the section here where you can put like the little calendars or whatever and this so again I need to figure out how I'm going to use this because I just don't even know um this I don't know how to use in this particular planner but you know we'll figure it out this I finally figured out what to do with this and I love it and it's that monthly remix where you put a sticker a day for you know, well, sometimes I put a few, but, you know, I, I love doing this. I really need to catch up for December, but, you know, life. Um, but it's a memory planner, so I can do that. And then, of course, your regular weekly layout. Um, she did change this design up here where it no longer has penny. It's just more blank, which is fine because I always covered it anyway, and I know that's how um, the reason why she changed it was because a lot of people still put like a full box and things up there so here it is penny pages a5 wide vertical like i normally have had for the longest time and this will be my memory keeping so that's two now the third and this is where the change really happens so this year i was using um well this year i started with five planners, went up to six, and then down to four because of the addition of the daily. And the daily took over a lot of things. Well, now I'm combining two of my current planners down into the one, and we have here the hybrid. So this is actually the Be Productive hybrid version that is available at the penny pages 
Um, there's obviously the journaling version with the for the dailies that's available at TBC Nation Shop, but I really love the Be Productive daily, so this is where we're going. Now, I find this kind of funny. Um, we'll talk about it, but it says, don't be busy, be productive. This is what I wanted for my cover. I had this picked out prior to coming out with my um, 2022 word of the year, which I have settled on productivity. You know what I mean? Um, I, I don't want to be busy. I want to be productive, get things done, still have time for myself. This year's word was balance, which was great until, you know, the last month or so. So, again, you've got your 12 boxes. Same thing here, which I'll have to figure out how I'm going to use this, but I, I think this might actually be easier to come up with ideas for than the other two. This, I've, I'm going to use this exactly how I've been using it. It's for shop related stuff, so um, I uh, it's not a page that I share because it's a lot of tracking and data and things like that that I don't share with anyone. So it's just my organizational shop stuff. This I've been because. My daily has been for all things shop, TPC admining, and um, home life stuff. This monthly has literally become like a catch-all of everything for the month, whether it be appointments, um, different schedules, things like that. This may also change too because since this is the hybrid planner... Um, now you have like a weekly overview piece, which I am excited for because I've been making my own kind of thing. I'll just have to figure out how, how I want to organize this here, but I love this. Maybe I'll just do things like home shop and TPC kind of things for the week. But this is what... I've been using the A5 wide version of the TPC Nation Planner for my social media. And in the monthly, I've been also kind of laying out what videos are going to be when. Except, you know, this month I've kind of been flying by the seat of my pants. I'm not even going to lie. Just because of my voice and all that. So, what is going to happen here now is now there's only four instead of five. That's because I'm going to cut off the TPC column that's here. I'm still going to do my social media tracking here for Facebook, Instagram, or my Facebook group, Facebook page, Instagram, and YouTube or TikTok. And it's on two pages now. This right here may just be... Um, see, I thought there was actually supposed to be a blank page here, but maybe, um, it's in a different version or whatever. Um, this right here maybe is where I'll put my, like, the TPC schedule for the week. Unless the blank is at the beginning, it's possible. Yeah, it could be here. So I could either use this for that or this page for that for the week. Um... Because all I used to that bottom was my PR team and I, we come up with like a posting schedule. So that way, you know, everybody, we know when everybody's posting and all that. And not just random. So I may use this for that. I, I don't know yet. I'm trying to decide. So we'll go from there. And then the dailies, which follow the week, are gonna be just as they've been same kind of thing for each week with you know just my normal dailies so I really liked the idea of combining this because sometimes yeah we're creating a posting schedule and 
My B6 comes b with me from the office to the living room. Depends on where I'm working for the day and such. But my A5 wide always stayed in my office. So if we were in the middle of stuff and someone got back to me later than everybody else or whatever, I'd have to run back in here to write stuff down and then run back out. And is more of a hassle. This carries with me back and forth. So having it all together in the B6 size where I can move it back and forth from my office to the living room and back and it not be as large and in charge as the A5 wide. Um, it, this is going to make more sense for me since this kind of combines everything home shop and TPC admin stuff. So I really think this is going to be exactly what I need for um, everything to be successful and productive um, for the coming year. So that is what we have. We have our A5 wide for memory keeping. We have our Pinigi for health and wellness. And then we have our hybrid for everything else, social media, home, personal, you know, shop and uh, TPC admining kind of things. So all the things. So that is my 2022 planner lineup. Um, this one I'll be breaking into different videos for um, the planning. So I'll probably do like the weekly in one type of video and dailies in another like I've been doing. But um, we'll see how this goes. I'll my, my schedule may change a little, but we'll see what um, happens. I may try to keep the same kind of days or whatnot. So, but the actual rotation might vary up a little bit. So I'm excited for the new year and what's to come and doing all the things. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time. Bye guys.